Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, okay, everybody is running from the president. Why? Because, wait a minute, was it a tax? What is it? No, it wasn't a tax. Was it a, oh, what was it again when it comes to health care? Oh, we're still trying to figure that out. Meanwhile, everybody's abandoning ship. So for now, we're going to bring, oh yeah, they handed the Republicans a victory today. Um, so meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yes. Uh, well, at least that's what you would think the mainstream press is doing. Uh, the mainstream press publishes mandate over th thrown out. They're saying it with the Dewey wins election. No, the mandate was thrown out. They ruled unanimously, basically, that you cannot for use the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution to force money people to do something. What happened is Obama and the Democratic Party have did exactly what they swore on a stack. We're talking uh, 222 members of the House of Representatives and all 66 members of the Senate swore. They basically put their hand on the Bible. This is not a tax. Mm -hmm. Now, they have been, it has officially been ruled that they placed a tax on you know, the poor little people that don't have insurance, mm -hmm. that can't afford to pay because they don't have insurance, they now have to pay $1,000 a piece. Oh. And uh, remember, all of those illegal aliens are in this country, they now have to pay $1,000 a piece, which mm -hmm. means they have to be, the instant they go in, they're going to be asked for an insurance thing, and they aren't going to get medical treatment unless they pay their $1,000 or whatever it is. So what happened is, uh, if you're an unborn child, it's going to cost you $1,000 in taxes now. Before you're born, the parents are going to have to pay $1,000 in taxes. So basically the favorability of his health care thing went down when, they just, when, it, when it was a mandate. It wasn't people weren't happy, but now that it's a tax, they are really pissed. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, you think that people were unhappy with Obama before? They are not really happy now because this is not going to, you know, we're going to get they're going to rule against us today, and then we're going to be able to run against the, you know, against the Supreme Court. That didn't happen. And overspending isn't California's problem. It's a refusal to raise taxes on those that aren't paying their fair share, that is. California has the highest tax rate in the nation. It also has the number two fleeing from the state rate. You know that? Oh, the, really? Number one, the number one um, the number one fleeing state is New York, who's trying to figure out how to fix the tax problem because they're chasing all the people to have money over into New Jersey, which is dropping taxes. Mm -hmm. And Dad charged with assault for tossing McDonald's fries at a worker. I know. Well, for, oh, no. like those fries are really going to no, do some it damage. No, it is not. And it, basically, that will be tossed out. It is not assault, but it is a crime to be doing that. You know, you cannot throw food in those places. It's a violation of state statutes, so therefore... Why? Because of health laws? The health laws. They'll get yeah. him on the health law for tossing. If he'd have tossed, uh, if he'd have tossed a cup at somebody, if he'd have tossed a chair, but a french fry becomes a, it becomes a health hazard, not a food thing. Oh, interesting. Food fights are not illegal anywhere in the country. Ah. Apple quietly stops touting its virus-free platform. Okay. Um, really? Well, no. Apple itself is virus free, but what they're doing is making it capable to run um, uh, IBM stuff. IBM has a virus problem, Apple does not. It's virtually impossible to do a virus on any Apple product. Do apples get cookies? Um, apples only get Apple cookies. Oh. There is no outside thing. You have to go through app Android. I can build an Android app, which is what I am working on. But uh, you cannot build an app that is not approved by Apple itself. It runs through all of their systems and they can tell, I think somebody lasted two hours mm -hmm. before they managed it, before they pulled it out of the system, so. Google makes a play and, well, it's competing against Apple or Kindle? It's, uh, it's, against, it's against Kindle. Apple has, it has no effect on Apple. It's not a tablet, for Christ's sake, folks. B.S. the Bull said it's nothing more than a, a, a tricked-up e-reader. <laughs> it will do more than the Kindle Fire will do. Because it will take the Android apps. Because it will take the Android apps. So. But it's 
Price like the Kindle Fire. Yeah, but it's still, okay, so it's, it's got this and it's got that, but it still doesn't do what people want the tablet to do. A tablet is it's not really more, a tablet. It, you know, a tablet is half of, it's a computer without the keyboard, but we, we if you, okay, we would really probably get the Surface if it existed because they can put it, there is a keyboard that attaches to it. Actually, I really like the Surface. I thought it was But really it's never cool. going to happen because they, they it was a, it basically, they put it out as a trial balloon and it died. I mean, like, we got 17 views on the bloody thing on, on CNN. 17 people looked at it. That's, well, part of it is that Google looks like it actually may come out because they're already taking pre-orders on it. Yeah, no, And there's a price. Yeah, I was told the evening that the Surface came out from somebody that works, his brother works at Microsoft, he said there's no production line set up in time. He told me the place that would be built, which is what, which basically Microsoft announced last week, that uh, that they know there had no date on it, but he said there was no production, the guy, there was, Brother, he said, there is no production date started, there is no line started, there's nothing set up. What we saw, okay, rule of thumb is when you bring something like a tablet out and you call a big event and you only have like 350 people, everybody in the place gets one. Mm -hmm. That's the rule because you want the press. You want them to have it. But, but see, since there's no real... There were no samples. And there are samples. And there's no specific date. Did they get, they probably gave them samples for Google, didn't they? Yep. Yep. People that went to that thing got uh, samples. The invited guests all got samples to play with. That's how you know it's for real. Christian group backs away from ex-gay therapy. Oh, well, yeah, well, because there is no gay. Okay, first of all, you can't make a gay person straight because most people that are gay are gay because it's a lifestyle choice. And you can't convince a person that he's doing a lifestyle that they've done something wrong. If I'll go back to something that Jesse Helms, basically the horse's ass, but Jesse Helms said specifically, if they'll admit that it is a, it, it is a health situation, I will support until my last breath that these people are, you know, yeah, but he said it's not a health, it's a lifestyle choice. You can be gay or not gay, that's that simple. Whereas you can't be, you can't be black you know, if you're, you can't be black if you're white, you can't be white if you're black. That is an act of nature. Gay is an act of choice. And stopped in California to file for bankruptcy. Oh, but it's official. Republicans drove Stockton into bankruptcy with their overspending and refusal to raise taxes. Uh, they have a democratic government and all they have done is raise taxes. Mm. So, but, but that's how, well, it became, they can't blame George Bush and Stockton for what they did. They said $700 million in debt on, on um, pensions. But, oh, they did say last night, John, they, they basically flat out, Jonathan Honig is responsible for this. They said, I have never even been a stock in my life, but they were naming him on, on one of the financials last night as the reason behind, that I have nothing to do, oh. but they were flat out naming him, so he must, I think he says, I'm going to sue the hell out of you. And well, they retracted it later. And accused New York City madam, madam free on bond, jail four months. Yeah, they can't throw you in. It, what happens is, um, an example is there was an actor and a writer for MASH called Ronnie Graham, he, he didn't pay child support because he wasn't, he, if, you, if you have no money coming in and you're unemployed, you don't, you can't pay the thing. So they put him in the tombs for six months and forgot about him. And during that six months, the judges, you know, we want, where, we, he is not paying his child support. He's not paying his child he, support. He can't. He couldn't pay it because he was in a jail cell that they, in, in New York City, I mean, they have the same thing in Los Angeles. My father, no, my father Debtors told prison. me about it. Uh, which was uh, basically it is if they want to bury somebody, they stick them in that part of the of a of the system. And what happens is people forget they exist, and uh -huh. then they come by. Uh, what? Who the hell are, are you? It's just like I I did an episode a zillion years ago on Hennessy, where an actor named Jimmy Comack was a dentist at the um, at, in the naval hospital, and an admiral came by, Admiral Roscoe Cranfield came by, and he said, "Who the hell are you?" He said, "Well, I'm such and such." He said, "Yeah, but who the hell are you?" And then they go check. He's been there for 12 years. 12 years? That's what happens when you put someone in the tombs in New York. Anna Monte bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Um, don't wish for something 
that you want because you might actually get it and find out it's a disaster.